the BMW Group is implementing fully autonomous driving over five levels of development. In the process, the responsibility for driving the car will shift from the person at the wheel to the car itself. Today, the second level has already been reached. Here, the driver is aided by assistance systems and can remove their hands from the steering wheel for brief periods. At the third level, they will sometimes be able to completely turn their attention away from driving, but must be able to step in again at short notice. Once level four is reached, the driver might even be able to sleep. They must, however, still be basically fit to drive in case they have to take over control of the car for specific sections of the journey. It is at the final level of development that cars will drive fully autonomously. The driver will become another passenger and won't even have to be able to drive, as the car will assume complete responsibility for the task of driving. At level 2, stereo cameras and radar sensors monitor the immediate surrounding area. Level 3 requires highly advanced sensors such as laser scanners, ultrasonic sensors and radar systems which together produce a 360 degree model of the vehicle's environment. This makes it possible to calculate more complex driving maneuvers. For level 4, fully automated driving from 2021, all sensors and cameras will supply far more precise data while the real-time data from the area maps provided by here will also be factored into the process of computing driving maneuvers. And Level 5, the first pilot projects for fully autonomous driving are due to get underway in selected cities from as early as 2020. For the BMW Group, the vision of fully autonomous driving has long since begun. The processing power necessary to execute the driving task autonomously um, requires the integration of high performance computing power into the vehicle. And our partner Intel provides the processing units uh, which are capable to uh, fulfill these requirements. With the use of high accurate maps, the vehicle precisely determines its proper position at all time. And additional information such as traffic jam or accidents on the road or other traffic incidences um, is provided by the cloud. And this further helps to increase the system overall safety. The current status of the highly automated driving at BMW is that we are in the face of a serious development. We want to offer a kind of highway pilot 2021 with the iNext. This car will also be able to drive driverless with level 4 or level 5 capabilities. But if we will offer these functionality to the customer is not decided now. The next steps of the highly automated driving are the development of the testing of prototypes. We are right now in the third generation of testing cars. We left the research phase, we are now in the development phase and we specifically try to work out the behavior of the car in critical situations on highway, in urban regions or on the countryside situations. The target is to be able to offer a very safe and secure system 2021 in the iNext. The main technical challenge of the automated driving is to reproduce the capabilities of the human driver, of the perception of the environment, of the driving environment. For this topic we use in the automated car three different sensor types, radar sensors, laser scanner and video cameras to detect all objects around the car. The information of the sensors is collected 
in the brain of the car is a so-called environmental model where we derive the driving strategy and we, in, we, we ensure that the car really understands what's happening around the car. Basing on this knowledge, the car is able to avoid any critical driving situation. We develop autonomous driving on highways for our customers. The system will be available uh, in the iNext, which is announced for 2021. The serious development phase has already started, and therefore we are focusing on using sensors in our test vehicles, which allow a seamless integration into the design that defines a BMW. Autonomous driving allows our customers for the first time to use the drive time for other things while the car is taking over the task of driving. And of course, for BMW, safety comes first. The autonomous driving car observes the surrounding vehicles all the time in all directions. It never gets tired, it's always awake and attentive. And therefore we integrated around the car cameras, radar sensors and laser scanners. And to fulfill our strong safety requirements, I want to give you one example. A car driving ahead is continuously detected by a minimum of three sensors all the time. The future goal of BMW, looking for highly automated driving, fully automated driving or autonomous driving, is to be able to deliver all different mobility concepts which we will see in the future. On the one hand we are talking from highly automated driving on highways to increase safety and comfort for long distance trips, more or less with conventional cars. On the other hand, we are talking from completely new mobility concepts in urban regions where driverless cars, electrical driven, can really be a kind of revolution for this interurban mobility. Driving on a highway autonomously is more simple than driving in an urban environment. We're driving on a highway at a speed up to 130 km per hour. In an urban environment the speed is much lower, but the traffic situations are much more complex than on a highway. So we have to handle cross traffic, we have to handle bicycles and pedestrians, therefore we need more sensors and more software.